Hello, good day viewers. My name is Lukman Husseini Tambol, the founder of Tambol Math Class. If you are a secondary school student who is passionate towards building and construction engineering, this is the right time for you to start learning the basic constructions. So in this tutorial, I'm going to present to you three different ways to construct parallel lines. Two or more lines are said to be parallel if and only if, no matter where they get to, they will never meet. So there are different tools for constructions, but we have the basic ones here. You can see we have the ruler for measuring lines and drawing lines as well. We have protractor for measuring angles. We have a compass for measuring angles, constructing angles, bisecting angles, and so on. We have a pencil. You can see this is a pencil. We have a line segment. These are all line segments. So let me start by presenting to you how to construct parallel lines. So bring out your ruler. Draw a convenience line. This is a straight line. We want to draw another line that is going to be parallel to this one. So now let us call this line A. What do we do next? Identify any point at the top or at the bottom of this line A. So let me identify it as this. You can see I have a point. Use your ruler to connect this point to this line A. But since I have a line segment, I'm going to use it. This is my line. I want to cut this point. Let me extend it a little bit. Next, let me identify the intersection as C. This is an intersection C. Bring out your compass. This is my compass. At a convenience radius, you can see it is flexible. At convenience radius, bring your pointer to the point C. Now construct an arc to cut this blue line and this line A. Let me identify them as well. We have, let me call this one B, let me call this one D, the two intersections. Bring out your compass, the same radius, do not extend it. Take it to that initial point you have located construct an arc to cut this blue line let me name it as e the intersection what do we do next we are going to measure the length of the arc bd using our compass so this is the length i have copied that Take your compass to the point E. Now replicate the length you have copied. And name that point as F. And finally, we are going to connect the initial point and F together using our ruler. And hence, these two black lines are said to be parallel to each other. Let me call it G. Therefore, line A and line G are said to be parallel. No matter where they get to, they will never meet. Okay, now let me show you the second method. Bring out your ruler. Draw a convenience distance. Let me call this line A again. Next, bring out your compass at a convenience radius. Choose any point on this line. We are going to draw a semicycle, half of a cycle, to cut this line A. Hmm. 
Next, let us name the intersection as B. Take the pointer of your compass to this point B, the same radius. Construct another semicircle to cut the first one and this line A. Let us name the intersections. We have B, this is C, this is D. The same radius, bring out your compass again to point C. Draw an arc to cut this last semicircle. Let's call that point E. And finally, use your ruler to connect D and E together. And let's call this line F. And hence, line A and line F are said to be parallel to each other. And let me show you the last one, which is the simplest one. Bring out your ruler. Draw a convenience length. Let us call this line A. Next, take your compass above this line A. Draw a semicircle to cut the line at two points. Can you see that? Let us name the intersections as B and C. Now take your compass to the point B. Radius doesn't matter at any convenience radius. Draw an arc to cut this line A. Let's call that point D. The same radius, bring out your compass to point D. Draw an arc to cut the initial semicycle. Let's call the intersection F. And we are done. Now we are going to connect point F and the initial position of our pointer while constructing the semicircle. So bring out your ruler, connect these two points together. And hence, let me call this one G, this line G and line A are said to be parallel to each other. And this is exactly how to construct parallel lines. In our next class, we are going to look on to how to bisect a line segment into two equal parts. Thank you for watching. You have a nice day.